Thank you, Auntie Jackie, for blessing us through Dance Complete Ministries. The Corona Explosions has been a great testimony of God's work, so we are excited to see what he does next. Thank you. Hi, Auntie Jackie. I am Peacock. Proud of you. I remember having this conversation about the explosion and to see it all come together. It is just overwhelming, but I am so excited about the overflow of blessings that will be received from this conference. You just keep going, keep pressing, keep pushing, and may God's favor continue to be over you and Dad's Complete Ministries. I love you so much. Just want to send my love to you. Uh, I pray that God keep you, bless you, and grant you peace. Oh my God, what a wonderful and powerful conference that was. Hey man, God has really smiled upon you. And eyes have not seen, ears have not heard all that God really has in store for you. To my friend, my sister, cousin, thank you so very much for allowing me to be a part of this awesome vision, the Corona Explosion. May you, my sister, continue to hear the voice of God and obey. Love you to life. Continue the great work. Hey, Auntie. Hey. We just want to say thank you for including us and asking us to participate in the Corona Explosion. It was a wonderful experience, and I've, I'm a new person because of it. Yes, and it's, it's you've truly been a blessing to our life. We really love you. We appreciate you. In more ways than one. <laughs> yes, we, we love you more. Thank you. Love you more. Hey, Auntie Jackie. It's Kedra. I am getting ready to head into the building, but I wanted to take the opportunity to just say thank you for being obedient. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your vision. And thank you for what the Corona explosion has meant to my life and the lives of many. It's just beginning. It's not over. It's just beginning for you. I just thank God for showing you this vision of Corona of the corona explosion and watching it um like i said come to life this has been extraordinary i love you thank you again kisses hi auntie jackie congratulations on a blessed conference please continue to be obedient and faithful to god thank you for allowing me to be a part because god is going to just continue to explode in our lives Hey, my sister Jackie, just finished watching the third episode of the Corona Explosion Conference. And my God, my God, it's just awesome, Jackie. I celebrate you today and all the people that you have touched during this Corona Explosion experience and just wish you the best in your ministry in the years ahead, Jackie. I love you, sister. Hey, Auntie Jackie. Today is April 20th, so we just refilmed one of the parts for the Corona Explosion, but it was well worth it, and uh, I'm so happy for you. I'm proud of you, and I can't wait to see what God does for Dance Complete Ministries. Miss Jackie Kendricks, first I'd like to say thank you for letting me be a part of this great explosion. You have birthed what God has given you, and it was awesome. My name is Jackie Kendrick, and it is my honor to welcome you to the final segment of the Corona Explosion. Our segment today is Great God. Scripture description of God as great demonstrates that he is the pinnacle of every commendable quality, which means God is the only one that deserves all of the glory, all of the honor and praise. Today, we are blessed to have a wonderful speaker that is coming forth to tell us all about this great God that has kept us throughout this pandemic, that has brought families closer together from this pandemic, and that has put stimulus checks in our bank account due to the pandemic. So, as we welcome in the Holy Spirit, we welcome you to join us. So don't just sit there, clap your hands, stomp your feet, lift your voice, 
and let us have a hallelujah good time in the Lord. And again, you are welcome. Good afternoon. I will be reading Psalms 46, New King James Version. God is our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not be afraid. Though the earth trembles and the mountains topple into the depths of the seas, though its waters roar and foams and the mountains quake with its turmoil. Sailor. This is a river. Its streams delight the city of God, the holy dwelling place of the Most High. God is within her. She will not be toppled. God will help her when the morning dawns. Nations rage, kingdoms topple. The earth melts when he lifts his voice. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold, Selah. Come, see the works of the Lord, who, breaks, who brings devastation on the earth. He makes wars cease throughout the earth. He shatters bows and cuts spears to pieces. He burns up the chariots. Stop your fighting and know that I am God. Exalted among the nations, exalted on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Selah. I have read Psalms 46. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearers, and the doers of his most holy word. Greetings, people of God. This is Prophet Joshua Johnson. Listen, I'm excited to tune in to another week of the Corona explosion. Listen. God is about to move. I mean, there is a lineup and a program that you don't want to miss. You want to tune in because there's a breakthrough and healing here just for you. Listen, this week is called Great God. Listen, we're going to pray and we're going to believe that this week there's going to be miracles that our great God is going to manifest in your life. You might know somebody with corona. You might know somebody um, that might be in the hospital right now struggling um, to survive. But we know that God is a great God and that he's a healer and he's a doctor in the sick room. So as we pray, let's touch and agree today. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for you being a great God. God, you said as we enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise, God, you said be thankful unto you. And so, God, first, before we ask for anything, we just want to give you thanks, God, and say that we're thankful for the things that you've already done. God, we know that the last year and a half has been hard. It's been rough. It's been difficult. Somebody watching right now may be suffering right now where they are, but we thank you that you're still a great God. In spite of where we are, you're still great. And so we want to say thank you. Thank you for the activity of our limbs. Thank you for life, breath, and strength. Thank you, God, that your anointing still exists and you still rest on the throne. So, God, we want to say thank you, God. We first enter into your gates with thanksgiving. But, God, we thank you now that you also are, God, going to heal. You're going to deliver. You're going to set free. There are people, God, that are on the verge of a breakthrough watching this right now. And we thank you that before this broadcast is over, healing will take place. Salvation will take place. Deliverance will take place. Restoration. Somebody is going to run to you and cry out and say, I yield to you. I surrender all unto you because you're a great God. I could have died a long time ago. I could have lost my mind a long time ago. But because you are a great God, you preserve me for another time such as this. So God, we thank you. That as the preaching goes forth, the dancing goes forth, the singing goes forth. That you minister to the soul of your people today. And we thank you. We give you praise and glory and honor. That you're going to be glorified. Hallelujah. And the enemy is going to be horrified, and your people are going to be edified. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I 
search the world But it couldn't fill me Man's empty praise Treasures that fade Are never enough Then you came along And you put me back together There's not a place Your mercy and grace Won't find me again Cause there's nothing Better than you, Lord 
a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures for all generations. We serve a great God. He is a great God and he is a mighty God. He is a faithful God and he deserves the fullness of our praise. Amen. Let us not forget all the benefits that he provides for us. Let us not forgive, forget that he forgives us. Let us not forget that he heals us. Let us not forget that he redeems us. Let us never forget how he crowns us with his loving care. And let us not forget that he showers us daily with his mercy and his grace. The scripture says he give it to us daily. So let us never forget. Let us never forget how he satisfies all our needs according to his riches and glory. Let us never forget how he renews and how he revives us day in and day out, moment by moment, amen. Problems and situations and circumstances one out another. Let us never ever forget that he is a great God. He is the almighty God, amen. He is kings of kings and he is Lord of lords. Amen. He is our refuge and he is our protector. Amen. He voluntarily died on the cross for our sin, delivering us from the penalty of sin. And we can rely on him to love us and to act on our behalf. We serve a great God. We serve a mighty God. This is the same God that met Moses in Exodus at the Red Sea, amen. This is the same God in Joshua 3 that met Joshua at the river of Jordan and parted it open. This is the same God that met Joshua in chapter 6 at the battle of Jericho, amen. This is the same God in Daniel 3 that delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fire of this is the same great God, amen. He is a great God. He is a mighty God. This is the same God that in Daniel 6 that delivered Daniel from the lion's den, amen. This is the same great God, amen. This is the same great God in 1 Samuel 17 that helped David kill Goliath, amen. This is the same great God in 2 Samuel 11 and 12 that told David after he had sinned with Bathsheba, if you had just come to me, amen, that I would have taken care of it because he don't leave us when we're wrong, amen. He sticks by us when we're right and when we're wrong. He stick by us when we up and when we down. He stick by us when we high and when we low. He stick by us when we're celebrating and he stick by us when we're crying. Oh God, I just thank you for him. This is the same God, amen. This is the same God in John chapter one, chapter 21 that told Peter to feed my sheep after he had denied him three times. This is the same God. This is the same God, amen. But this greatness, his greatness, his greatness is in the fact that he is just God all by himself, amen. His greatness is in the fact that, guess what? He loves us. His greatness is in the fact of him just being God, amen. His greatness is in the fact that, guess what? He is king of kings, and he is lord of lords, and he is the alpha, and he is the omega, amen. He is the first, amen, and he is the last, amen. Oh, not only that, he is there in the midnight hours, amen. He is there and wash all our tears away, amen. He is there when we are all alone, amen. He is there when we are sick, amen. He's there when we are go through death, amen. He's there when we go through heartache and pain, amen. He is there when we go through joy, amen. He is there when we go through sorrow, amen. He is there. He is there even when there is no hope for tomorrow. He is there. We serve a great God. 
He is there through the sunshine, and he is there through the rain. He is there through the ups, and he is there through the downs. He is there when the doctor says, no, there is nothing else that I can do. He's still there because he is the one that has the last report. So whose report will you believe, amen? He is there when I need a lawyer in the courtroom. He is there when the doors close in your face. He is there when your intentions are misunderstood. He even there during the pandemic, amen. He is there when there's no food on the table, amen. He is there when there's no roof over your head. He is there when there is no clothes on your back. He is there when there is, is not even a sound left for you to say. So everyone that's under my voice, I want you to pause right now and just acknowledge him and thank him for being God and being God all alone. How he looked beyond our faults. And even though he is almighty God, guess what? He comes down and see by the wretch like me, amen. And so we just thank him. This is the same God, amen. The greatness of him that forgive us our sins. This is the God that came and died on the cross for us, amen. This is the same God, amen, that left his throne in glory, that came down here and suffered and died on the cross that we might be saved and set free, amen. But oh, let me tell you, the story didn't stop there. Oh, he was buried in a borrowed tomb, but he didn't stay there. They couldn't keep him there because on that third day, he got up. And when he got up, he got up with all powers in his hand, amen. Oh, but he didn't stay there. He ascended back to heaven to the right hand of the Father where he was glorified, amen, and given uh, the right to the throne, amen. But even being crowned king of kings and lord of lords, amen, he still didn't forget the little old wretch like us, amen, because he had promised us, amen. He had promised us that when he ascended back to his father, that he would send us a helper, amen. And we know that in Acts 2, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came in. And when it came in, it came in like a rushing wind. And it came in with power, amen. And we know that 3,000 people were saved in one day. We know that the disciples was able to get up and preach, amen. They was get, able to get up and testify, amen. They was able to get up so that souls would be saved, amen. Oh, God, he empowered us and enabled us to do what it is that we, he has called us to do. Oh, yes, this is the same God, amen. This is the same God that's in 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, 12 and 9 that told Paul, my grace, my grace is sufficient for you. And I've come here today to tell you I don't know what you're going through and I don't know what you've been through. But I tell you that his grace is still sufficient. Amen. His grace is still sufficient. He is a great God. He is a mighty God. He has paid it all. He has done it all. He has delivered us all. He has redeemed us all. He has forgiven us all. And, and, let, and, and even in 1 Corinthians 15 and 5 and 53, he promised that, guess what? He will come back and receive us. And that where we, he is, guess what? We will be also. And so we stand here doing this explosion. We done had testimony after testimony. But through it all, guess what? The great God has stood the test of time, amen? He stood the test of time in Genesis. He stood the test of time in Exodus. He stood the test of time in Leviticus. And he stood the test of time in Numbers. He stood the test of time in Deuteronomy and he stood the test of time in Joshua. He stood the test of time in Judges. He stood the test of time in Ruth. He stood the test of time in 1 Samuel. He stood the second time in 2 Samuel. He stood the test, of, uh, the test of time in 1 King and he stood the test of time in 2 King. On and we move on over to the New Testament. He stood the test of time in the Gospel of, of Luke. He stood the test of time in the Gospel of Matthew. He stood the test of time in the Gospel of John, and he stood the test of time in the Gospel of Luke. And guess what? In Revelation, he's coming back again. Amen. And he's going to stand the test of time. 
He's going to be crowned King of Kings. He's going to be crowned Lord of Lords because he is a great God. He is a mighty God. And he is our God. Amen. And we give him glory this evening. And we give him honor this evening. And we give him praise for being King of Kings and Lord of Lords, but for being in love with us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. The doors of the church is open. Will there be one? Amen. Will there be one? Are there one here that needs prayer? Are there one here that has backslidden? Are there one here that needs membership? Are there one here that needs to give their life to Christ? Amen. And remember that it's not what we have done but in what he have done, amen? And so if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ has came and died on the cross for your sins and that you believe in your heart, if you confess that with me, that guess what? Jesus Christ has died. I believe that Jesus Christ has died on the cross. I believe that he died for your sins and for my sins. And I'm asking to forgive my sins, to come and live with me and be the ruler over my life. If you have prayed that prayer with me, amen, then you are saved. Find yourself a church that is teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, his death, his birth, and his resurrection, and join that church so that you may grow in the spirit of God and grow into who you are in him. Amen. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. You might be seated at this time. We're getting ready to close. Will you bow your head and go with me to the throne of grace? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come lifting you up, Lord God, and calling on your holy name. Because God, you are worthy to be praised. You are the creator of the universe, God. And apart from you, there is no other. You are king of kings and lord of lords. You are God, and you are God all alone. And God, we just lift you up right now. We just want to say thank you for loving us, Lord God. Thank you for keeping us, Lord God. Thank you for providing for us, Lord God. Thank you for making a way for us, Lord God. Thank you that you look beyond our faults, dear God, and supply all that we need, Lord God. But most of all, God, we thank you for your son that you sent to die on the cross, Lord God, that we might be saved and set free, Lord God. Oh God, but we thank you that you didn't stop there, Lord God, that you was buried in a barber tomb and you got up on the third day with all powers, Lord God that we may have everlasting life, Lord God. You ascended into the heaven with the right hand of the Father, and you continue to intercede on our behalf every day, Lord God. Oh God, you kept your promise and you stayed faithful. Oh, you sent your power, Lord God, that will empower us and enable us to do that which you have called us to do. And for that this evening, God, we just says, thank you, Lord God. And even those that are under the sound of my voice, Lord God, we lift them up, Lord God, pulling down every stronghold, Lord God, breaking every chains that have them bound, Lord God. Oh, God, we call on you right now because we need you down here, Lord God. We can't make it without you, Lord God. Oh, God, we lift up the sick and the shed in right now, God. Those that are in the hospital, Lord God, those that are at home on the sick bed, Lord God, those that are all over this country, Lord God, we raise them up to you, Lord God. Oh God, we ask you to heal them, Lord God. Strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh God, we call on you, Lord God. No other help we know. Oh, we lift up every leader before you right now that's making decisions for your people, Lord God. Open their eyes, Lord God. Open their ears, Lord God. Open their hearts, Lord God, that they may see, Lord, and hear, Lord God, and receive what it is that thus saith the Lord God. Oh, and God, give them the wisdom, Lord God, that they will walk in your will and walk in your way, Lord God. Oh, God, remember our military personnel, Lord God, as they make that sacrifice, God, to keep this country saved, Lord God. Cover them, Lord God, and cover their families, Lord God. Oh, bless every home that's under the sound of my voice, God. Bless every household, God. 
Give them more love, Lord God. Give them more peace, Lord God. Give them longevity, Lord God. Oh, God, give them a good spirit, Lord God. Give them kindness, Lord God. Give them patience, Lord God. Oh, God, let us love one another, Lord God, like we never loved before, Lord God. Let's put the weapons down, Lord God. Let's put the guns down, Lord God, and let's begin to embrace one another. Oh, Father, we call on you. Help us, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Oh, God, I call on you. Because no other help I know, Lord God. If you draw yourself from us, God, where would we go, Father? Oh, God, I pray to you this evening, Lord God. Oh, God, I call on you. Oh, God, no other name I know, Lord God. No other help I know, Lord God. Nobody loves us like you, Lord God. Nobody can do us like you, Lord God. Nobody be there like for us like you, God. Nobody look beyond our faults like you, God. And nobody will supply our needs like you, God. Oh, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you that you're God and God all along. Oh, God, I just thank you. Oh, God, I thank you. And I praise you, God. Bless, Lord God, like only you can bless. Cover, Lord God, like only you can cover. And keep, Lord God, like only you can keep. And God, when this thing is all over down here, Lord God, and we've sung our last song, and we've prayed our last prayer, Lord God, and we've done our last dance, oh, Father. Oh, God, we ask you to just give us a home somewhere, somewhere, Lord God, in your kingdom, that we can live with you forevermore. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. My Lord, my Lord, yes. Wherever you are, will you join me in giving a hand clap of praise to Elder Tarver for that awesome message. And to all of our wonderful speakers, prayer warriors, angelic singers, and all of the participants of the Corona Explosion. I pray that you were blessed and encouraged by what your eyes have seen and ears heard. Truly, we serve a great and awesome God who has kept and sustained us throughout this pandemic. It is he, you all, that deserves all the glory, honor, and praise for being our provider, our peacemaker, deliverer, healer, just being our all and all. Amen? Let us give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. I want to take this time to give special acknowledgments and thank you to first our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this great and blessed opportunity to share with you the Corona explosion. For without him, nothing is possible. Special acknowledgments and thank you goes to my pastor and first lady, Dexter and Dr. Renee Rowland for their love, prayers, and for always imparting the word of God to us. Always encouraging us to study, 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 to show ourselves approved unto God. To Pastor Charles and First Lady Dolores Westmoreland for their love, support, and for providing a home for Dance Complete Ministries. To my husband, Anthony Kendrick, and sons, Arlen and Amon, who are my first ministry. Producer, Minister Tyler Bell. Sound engineer, Minister Rodney Jones. Dance Complete Elite Team and Dancers. Glorious Feet, Minister Teresa Caldwell. T-shirt graphic designer, Brother David Mitchum. T-shirt coordinator, Deaconess Melissa Carrier. And all of the Corona Explosion participants who gave of themselves so selflessly. I want you to know that your sacrifice is not in vain because God knows all and he sees all. And I also want to add, during the rehearsal and recordings of the Corona Explosion, God covered us and kept us free from any contact of the virus. And for that, Lord, I say thank you. And a special thank you to you my online family, for taking your Sunday afternoons to spend with us and to experience what God has done through the Corona explosion. Again, I pray that you were blessed and encouraged by all that you have witnessed. 
I want you to know that we love you more than you will ever know. And it is our prayer that what you experience this month will carry you throughout this pandemic. I pray that you continue to stay safe, healthy, and happy. I want to leave you with this one promise God made to us and is found in 2 Chronicles 7, 14. And it says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, his promise to us is, then will he hear from heaven and will forgive our sins and heal our land. Be blessed, be safe, and love you more. What was I saying? My online family. No, you said it, but I could tell you were stuttering. Yeah, I stuttered. Okay. And a special thank you to you, my online family. <laughs> no, I'm not holding up everybody. Let's go. <laughs> no, we're not waiting on Miss T. Welcome to Dance Complete Corona Extra. Oh, see? Kick back and enjoy another week. Again, thank you. No, I can't see that far. I cannot see that far. Themed opportunity to welcome you. Nope. That's fine. Okay. That wasn't it, but I'm going. I'm somebody's phone was going off. Okay. Well he said wait. <laughs> I'm waiting. One. Oh, yeah. y'all took so many takes. <laughs> no, I, no, I ain't done. Now I gotta do my acknowledgement. So when I say join me in clapping, y'all clap, okay? So I've been asked to speak a little bit about um, we. Move? We. 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 You too. The two of us. Oh, we. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, welcome. Today, we are blessed to have a great speaker. I'm sorry, Tyler. <laughs> Take your time. I can keep going. You gotta start from the top. <laughs> <laughs>